My coverage of CES 2020 is brought to you by MSI, Thermaltake, Lian Lee, and Cooler Master. Hey guys, I'm at LG now. Uh, they've got their OLED R display going on behind me. Big, rollable OLED TVs that have slats at the back and an X bracket that extends them up out of a housing in the bottom. And they had this last year, let's be honest, but they've made it different because now they come out of the ceiling as well as the lower part. But what I'm here to talk about today is LG gaming monitors. So let's check those out. LG's gaming monitors are called Ultra Gear, so this is where they're all displayed. They have three new models. Let's start off with this one. It's the flagship. This is the 27GN950, which is a 27-inch 4K nano IPS display. And what this monitor has going for it, as well as the other two I'm going to show you, is a really fast response time. One millisecond, gray to gray, in an IPS monitor, which also supports 98% of the P3 color gamut. And I think the story of this CES when it comes to monitors has been taking away the compromise between a gaming monitor and a production monitor. We're seeing much higher refresh rates paired with much uh, higher levels of color depth, so that's really nice. This is a 144 hertz display. You can overclock it to 160 hertz. It's display HDR 600 compatible, and it's also got NVIDIA G-Sync. So if you want your variable refresh rate, uh, it works with NVIDIA G-Sync. Apologies to you AMD, Radeon, GPU owners out there, but LG does have other monitors that are FreeSync compatible. Because this is a flagship, it has Sphere Lighting 2.0 at the back, so it's got a ring of light, so it will display some ambient light on the wall behind your monitor, for example. That will change with the game you happen to be playing, or you can set it to default picture modes. It's got a nice stand built into it, too, with tilt, pivot, height adjustments. Uh, you can also wall mount via a vase mount. One display port, a couple HDMI 2.0s, and a USB 3.0 hub integrated into the back. And one of the things I really like about LG monitors, a couple things actually, uh, for the display inputs at the back, they just stick straight out so you don't have to fish around underneath the bottom. It makes it a lot easier to access. And also for controls, it's just a single knob down there at the bottom. Push it in and then you can access all the menus because it's a little knob that you can navigate around with too. And I just find that to be the ideal location for that because sometimes if it's tucked around the side and you go with the multiple monitor setup or if you have your monitor up against the wall, it can be harder to get at those controls. Next up is the Ultra Gear 34GN850. So this is a 34 inch curve ultra wide display. 21 by nine with a 3440 by 1440 resolution. Again, a nano IPS display with that one millisecond gray to gray response time, 144 hertz refresh rate, overclockable to 160 hertz. This one's display HDR4 400 compatible, so a little bit of a step down from the 27 inch that I just showed you. G-Sync support is still there though. It's got the same I.O. as well as that USB 3.0 hub, tilt and height adjustable stand, and you can wall mount it. This one is gonna be out in about May, whereas the 27 inch model over there we're expecting more in July. This one's probably gonna be a little bit more budget oriented. It doesn't have the sphere lighting on the back. Unfortunately, LG is not telling us pricing for these monitors quite yet. But the other cool things I mentioned about the first monitor, like uh, the display outs on the back and the control down at the bottom are still there for this one. And here's our third monitor. This one's a big boy, 38 inch curved 21 by nine QHD plus. So a new resolution I've seen for ultra wides this year, which is 3840 by 1600. Still nano IPS, still 144 hertz overclockable to 160, still one millisecond gray to gray, and still 98% of the P3 color gamut is capable of being displayed via the pixels on this monitor. You've also got your G-Sync support for variable refresh rate, display HDR 600 support on this one, and this is also gonna be a little bit more premium, so it does feature that sphere lighting 2.0 on the back. It does have a vase amount if the monitor stand itself isn't doing it for you. And I don't know if I mentioned, but there's three of them right here. Uh, they're not gonna be sold in sets of three. I mean, you could probably buy three of them at a time uh, once they do come out, but this is just showing some of the wraparound gaming performance of a setup like this, which is pretty sweet. Although it does get stretched a little bit on the edges of the right and left widescreen monitors, but that's okay. This one we're also expecting to be available in May. And again, unfortunately, no pricing as of yet. So those are the Ultra Gear gaming monitors that LG is showing off here. And uh, I think there's some pretty nice specs there, especially that response time. Ooh, that, that's really nice response time, especially for an IPS. And again, that crossover buy a gaming monitor, and then you could also do some content creation on it due to that color depth that they support. But what if you're looking at these and looking at the back and you're like, I don't know, the ring light on the back, the 
black with the red accent. It's a little bit too gamery. I'm a professional and I work in a professional environment, but I sometimes game. They got you set up there too. Let's check out uh, some ultra fine monitors over here. So where they have the ultra fine displays, which is more of a professional setup, is currently being co-opted by the LG demo that they have going on. So I've come over here just to give you guys the detailed specs on them. But first, we have the 38WN95C. This one is white on the back, silver on the stand, and uh, I think it looks pretty clean and nice for a professional environment. It's a 38 inch curved 21 by 9 QHD plus nano IPS display, 144 hertz refresh rate. It is an IPS, again with that one millisecond grade to grade response time. Display HDR 600 support and G-Sync compatible. On a professional model, on a display aimed at professionals, it's got G-Sync support. So that's nice if you want to game as well once you're get done getting all of your work done. And then another nice thing for professionals is Thunderbolt 3 support, uh, which is great for Mac users and anyone who wants a nice quick connection for multiple uses. Then one more monitor just to point out to you guys there was the 32UN880, uh, which is an ultra fine display ergo because it comes with an ergonomic stand on the back, which allows you to move it up, down, side to side, swivel it around, almost 360 degree rotation. You're basically only limited by the uh, cables that might come unplugged if you twist it around too much. This one's a 32 inch 4K display, IPS again, 95% of the P3 color gamut, and it is Radeon FreeSync capable. Although it is only a 60 hertz display, if you do do a little bit of gaming, it's better to have an adaptive sync option than not. USB Type-C for connectivity as well. And there it is, guys. Some of the new monitors that LG is displaying here at CES 2020. Uh, most of them are coming out in May with a little bit coming out in July as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, though, hit the thumbs up button. And of course, a huge thank you to my sponsors for CES 2020, MSI, Cooler Master, Leanne Lee, and Thermal Take. I have, I think, one more video coming at you guys really soon. I'm almost done. So if you want, check out the CES 2020 playlist for all the content that I've posted this week. We're getting through it. It's, it's getting down to the wire, but uh, I'm almost looking forward to going home soon, too. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.